932 Fox News alert now from overnight violent protests over a speaker on campus here in New York City. You had numerous fights breaking out at New York University after an appearance by conservative actor and comedian Gavin McGinnis was scheduled. He had been invited to speak by the college Republicans, actually got hit by pepper spray during the scuffle. Uh, Julie Benderis is watching this. She's live on the campus now, NYU Lower Manhattan. And Julie, good morning to you. What happened here? Hey there, Bill. Yeah, once again, protesters, this time again, college protesters attempting to shoot down the free speech of a conservative speaker, this time here in liberal New York City. So not really much of a surprise, but at NYU last night, a wave of protesters, much like UC Berkeley a couple days ago, doing the same, voicing their disgust with conservative actor and vice media co-founder Gavin McInnes, who was inside holding a seminar for the school's college Republicans. And while this one was less violent, 11 people were arrested and all protesters lining up outside the Kimmel Rosenthal Pavilion, where they were met with a line of NYPD officers with zip ties at the ready. McInnes was scheduled to speak at 7 p.m., but was instead seen shouting from the podium in a live periscope at protesters who managed to make their way inside the venue, the crowd chanting things like, Nazi scum, your time has come, while also lighting, make America great again, hats on fire. And when interrupted, McInnes asked the protesters, why are you repeating the same nonsense over and over? That further infuriated the crowd, forcing the controversial comedian to end his speech early, but not before voicing strong words for the NYU spokesperson. You're noticing all the beeps? Well, that's because there was a lot of cursing last night. And again, the university's independent news source, NYU Local, reporting that he actually called the spokesperson that you're a dumb liberal a-hole, no bleep for me, and you think these are rational beings before storming away. So, of course, this does continue, but at this point, we do say that, you know, there weren't any major, you know, acts of violence. There was some punches thrown at police. But that's about as far as it got here. It pretty uh, much, back to you, Bill. Yeah, pretty much tore up the campus there in California in Berkeley. Thank you. Julie yeah. Banderas, downtown yeah. here in New York City.